My name is Shonda Gentry, 403 Pentail Drive, and I've been a resident of Loveland for over 20 years. I have never come to a city council until the last three months, and I wasn't brought here because of anybody else that is sitting in this room except for you on council. I'm appalled by the behavior that I saw last week from our elected officials. If I walked out of a meeting after making a speech, then allowing no response, I would be fired. Why does majority council think that the rules of decorum and of council don't apply to them? I've watched the mayor use his bully pulpit to demean and attack another council member for the last two meetings while allowing no rebuttal. That is childish and unprofessional. Rule 5 of the Loveland City Council rules outline the order of business and after roll call. The next two line items are people appearing before council in an open forum. There is no item for speeches by mayor, so I want to understand why this wasn't handled in executive session as an adult would do, if necessary, or since the proper authorities were already alerted, why was this even council business? Rule 11 states that members of council wishing to be placed on the agenda must notify the clerk of council by 5 p.m. the Thursday before council and must state the nature of that matter to be presented. Did this happen? I didn't see mayor's speech on the agenda. There is no exception noted for the mayor in those rules. The rules state any change to the agenda as it appears in the council packet must be approved by the majority of council at the meeting. Did this happen? No, it didn't. And Mr. Braun, it was your responsibility to serve as parliamentarian during that outburst and to allow the point of orders requested to be addressed. Allowing the mayor to bully the other council members is unprofessional and violates Rule 14 meeting decorum. Student council at the high school behaves more appropriately than I have seen from this council. So that is what I have to say about last week. I had comments to make prior to that, so I'll talk about them now. Regarding the Christman property, Section 10701B of the Cincinnati, I'm sorry, of the City of Loveland City Ordinances states that all sale or lease of real property belonging to the city shall be by competitive bid, except as otherwise provided herein. Bid shall be taken after advertising on at least one occasion in a newspaper or general circulation within the city. And those exceptions do not include development. Has this provision been changed? If so, can I get a copy of the minutes approving such a change? And if not, when was the property put up for competitive bid and in what newspaper? Forbidding clapping. Under what rule of city council does this fall? There are no rules listed in the city of Loveland that state any rules of decorum. The fallback would then be the state of Ohio sunshine laws. These laws state that as we already heard, a disruptive person waives his right to attend open meetings and may be removed. How is clapping disruptive? Why is clapping only considered disruptive when the mayor determines so? I can understand excessive clapping being disruptive, but how is affirming approval or even just polite support disruptive? Disruptive, according to the Cambridge Dictionary, is to damage the orderly control of the situation, which clapping seems to fall well short of. Interpretation should be evenly addressed, not just to take action against those who disagree with the majority. I attended a two-day orientation for the University of Cincinnati for my son a few weeks ago. And after every speaker in a very business-oriented meeting, the entire audience clapped. This was also a business meeting, as the mayor chooses to remind us council is, but yet the clapping was done out of respect and thanks. So why is that unacceptable here? The residents still have a First Amendment right upon entering this building, and those are being taken by the mayor and the majority for no reason except spite. 